Hey guys, it's Jacob from Living Healthy Every Day. Today I'm going to show you how to make the super coffee. So you want to start off with one cup of coffee. So then pour it in the glass here. There we go. Now one cup of coffee. We're going to use about 200 milligrams of uh, taurine. Now it's shown that taurine in small ratios to caffeine actually promotes caffeine. That's why they use it in Red Bull and uh, other energy drinks. I use about 200 milligrams, so I'm looking on here. I don't need that much, so that's about, let's see, that is about, oh my goodness. So, at 200 milligrams, I'm gonna pour that in here. And we're gonna use about 400 milligrams of theanine, which I've got here. Put that in here. Now that's to counterbalance some of the jitteriness and also helps with the uh, focus that the uh, that caffeine can uh, give you some ADD like symptoms. Now we've got here uh, caprylic acid. So caprylic acid is a medium chain triglyceride that turns into ketones in your liver. So it can help you if you are trying to get into ketosis faster and pour that in here about an ounce. And then we've got here lion's mane, one of my favorite. It promotes nerve growth factors in your brain, specifically nerve growth factor. Um, and we're going to use about uh, an ounce of that, or I mean a gram of that. So we're going to use essentially, there we go, gram of that. Uh, and before I drink this, I take some curcumin because that will help with the cortisol. Add a, a little bit of almond milk. I'm going to add that at the end. And then we're going to add a little bit of ghee. Ghee helps produce butyrate, and butyrate's really good for uh, as a histone deacylase inhibitor. Uh, it's also can help you with fear extinction, and it's very good for your gut. So we're going to mix these all together. And if you have a blender, it works a lot better than just hot coffee. And for your electrolytes, you want to add just a little bit of salt, just a tiny bit, because caffeine can uh, caffeine can raise your blood pressure and so can salt. We don't want that. And if you're not worrying about ketosis and you want a slightly sweeter drink, then you can add some D-ribose. Just add a little bit. I like to take uh, one of these little um, chunks in here. Just throw that in here. But you can you can take a whole scoop if you want more. There's a few chunks in here. Grab two of them and throw them in here. All right. So as the ghee is melting a little bit, it was just in my refrigerator. I like to take it out a little bit before I do this. And then once the ghee's melted, we will add in the almond milk, just for flavor. So this is for ketones, for nerve growth factor. This is for energy. They use this in fibromyalgia patients or chronic fatigue patients. Uh, it's a five carbon sugar. But I wouldn't take it if you're hypoglycemic because it can lower glucose levels uh, while raising insulin. And then the taurine is good for your heart. It enhances the effects of caffeine. We've got the theanine, which helps with attention, uh, helps you produce alpha waves. And then we got the ghee for the butyrate, and also the creamy flavor. And uh, that's that. Don't forget to take the curcumin, not too much because it can thin out your blood. And then uh, you got your super coffee right here. And you can find out more about the benefits uh, in the description below, I'll have a link. You can see that. And you can also see different recipes for different things that you can add to create different forms of coffee, not just this one. So just a little bit of this, a little bit of almond milk. And we should be good. Thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.